If you faced rejection, being told you're not good enough, or being pushed to be more realistic, this video is for you. Stick around and let's talk about how to stay motivated and keep pushing towards your dreams no matter what anyone says. First, let's understand why people react this way when you share your big goals and your big dreams. People often project their own limited self-belief, their insecurities, fears, and their failures onto you. Their limited beliefs about what's possible come from their experiences, their culture, their background, and even their age group. For example, if you're pursuing an unconventional path, like starting a YouTube channel, those around you who haven't seen success or have any experience in this field may discourage you. If you listen to their opinions that come from their own limited perception of the world, they can make you quit something that could work out great for you. Keep in mind that most people won't support your dreams until you're already at the top when you have already ignored everyone and achieved your big dream. If you live your life based on other people's perceptions and trying to please everyone around you to be accepted, you will live a life that they, your family, the society, your friends have decided for you. Also understand that a lot of these people who discourage you live with regret because they haven't fulfilled their dreams. So it's worth going for your dream if you truly believe it. And if you fail, at least you don't have the regrets that you lived a restricted life that others decided for you. Remember, their doubts reflect their limitations, not yours. The second reason is the fear of losing you. Sometimes people discourage you out of fear. They might be afraid of losing you if you succeed. This could be an overprotective parent who wants to keep you close or a boss who fears you'll move to bigger and better things. Recognize this and decide whether you let their fear hold you back. Most of these people who are afraid of losing you know that you are capable, but they prefer to discourage you to keep you under their control because you are valuable to them how you are now and they don't want to lose this version of you. Whether you allow them to discourage you is up to you and how willing you are to get out of your comfort zone and the comfort zone that they put you in. The third reason is something that is very difficult to recognize and it's envy and manipulation. Some people discourage you because they don't want you to outshine them. They might see your potential and feel threatened. Be cautious of those who disguise themselves as friends, but subtly sabotage your progress. Notice how they react when you share good news. True friends celebrate your wins. They don't downplay them. Some people like you only if you're not doing better than them. If you start elevating in life, you will start to see their true colors. The envy will come out and they will do things intentionally to sabotage you, which might not be so obvious at the start until they do the real damage of you losing that big opportunity because you listen to them and then you live with regret. If you have had this type of people in your life and want to learn more about the psychology of manipulators to protect yourself, I recommend you to read The 48 Laws of Power, which was a very eye-opening book that I read this year, and I wish I had read it 25 years ago at the start of my career, because I would have avoided so many pitfalls from this type of people, as I met plenty of them along the way. If you understand where people are coming from when they discourage you, then you will realize that most times it has nothing to do with you and your talents and abilities, and you won't be so easily disappointed or inclined to give up. Most people quit way too easily and too soon because of other people's opinions. It's not that they don't believe in you. You're just talking to the wrong people. Let's talk about what you can do to protect your energy and achieve your dreams. The first thing is to practice sharing less, only what is necessary and where it's necessary. Be selective about what you share and with who you share. Not everyone needs to know your plans. Loose lips sink ships. Write this down. Keep your circle tight and share your wins privately. The second thing is to use rejection as a fuel to motivate you. Take all the feedback you get into consideration and make it a point to invest in yourself and improve every day until you become so good 
they can't ignore you or deny your abilities. One of the most powerful motivators is rejection for something you know in your heart you were born to do. Self-awareness also plays a key part in this because you can't just be motivated without true talent, skills and a plan of action that you implement daily. I have to say this because I met so many people through my business who had a dream and a vision and they thought they were good enough to succeed, but they didn't have the knowledge, the skills, and most importantly, the willingness to take massive action daily to achieve their dreams. Remember that passion and vision aren't enough. You need action and self-awareness. You need to become that person who can achieve that goal. Develop your skills to the top level. Go and get experience working with the best in the industry. Build your personal brand. Develop the personality that you need to succeed in that goal. None of the big overnight successes you see out there happened in a year. If you really want it, you need to play the long game and invest in yourself consistently. The third thing that is a game changer and you must do is to invest in building your personal brand. Don't wait for others to give you the opportunity. Give the opportunity to yourself first, build your own business, create your own content, build your personal brand, show up online for the world to discover your skills, your talents and your expertise, and see the opportunities start flowing in. We all have the social media platforms in our fingertips today and knowledge is available everywhere for free or at a very low cost. I teach personal branding on this channel and in courses and mentoring programs that you can find linked in my bio to get started. Personal branding is not an option in 2024. It's a must if you want to stand out in the market. Personal brands are the future, but you need to do it the right way. You can be the most talented person in the world, but if nobody knows about your talents because you don't like to be on social media and you don't have an online presence, if you don't get out and network to meet the right people and create the opportunities, don't expect the opportunity to come knocking on your door while you're hiding at home on your couch, doom scrolling on your phone. Opportunity dances with those who are already on the dance floor. So put yourself out there and start creating that opportunity for yourself. Building your personal brand, especially through creating content on social media and showcasing your knowledge, is an investment that will pay you for life. You can't understand the effects of this until you actually start building your personal brand the right way. I have been helping my clients build influential personal brands for over a decade now, and the transformations I have experienced in them have been phenomenal. The fourth thing you can do is to enter new networks if your current environment discourages you. Find new networks where you are valued. Move to a new location if it's necessary. Put yourself in places where your talents are recognized. You can be the most talented person in the world in what you do. You can be world class, but if you put yourself in the wrong environments, people will not be able to see and appreciate your value and they will also discourage you and tell you to quit. So the best thing you can do is to put yourself in places and networks where you can be appreciated and valued and move yourself out of environments where people cannot see your value or put down your dream. The next thing that will help you a lot is to become a super networker. How do you cultivate that respect when you enter these new networks? Firstly, you need to be willing to give without keeping a score. Most people give to get something back and that puts people off because it's very transactional. So be a giver, see how you can give value without expecting something in return. This can be through intentionally connecting people with other important people and opening up great opportunities for them. This is one of the top ways to become likable and trusted by making intentional and valuable connections for people, not time-wasting and random connections. The key question in networking is not who you know. The question is, do people want to know you? If you're a valuable super connector, people want to know you and want to always have you around. One great book to get you started with becoming a great networker is How to Win Friends and Influence People. I listened to the audio of this book 15 years ago and it totally changed my perception 
and my business. The next thing you can do is to cultivate unshakable self-belief. You will see in life that the more you truly believe in yourself, the more you attract people who believe in you because subconsciously they feel your energy and your strong self-belief in your skills and in your value and your abilities. So start reprogramming your mind and shifting the beliefs that you have about yourself, which were inherited from the family and the society you grew up in. This is daily work and doesn't stop. And I have personally invested in many programs and read many books to learn the process of reprogramming the mind and creating new beliefs over the past 20 years and more. Meditation and daily positive affirmations, which are based on my specific limiting beliefs, have been two things that helped me build my self-belief and my confidence and reprogram my mind. The next thing you need to cultivate within yourself is to get comfortable with rejection. Take the story of every successful person in history, even recent history, people who are well known today like Oprah, Steven Spielberg and JK Rowling, and you will find out that all these people faced a lot of rejection in the industry where they eventually excelled and became famous for being at the top of their industry. At the start of their journey, they were told they were not good enough to succeed and they just kept going and knocking on other doors, keeping a strong self-belief. And this is what set them apart. They didn't give up so easily because five, 10, 100 people rejected them. We wouldn't know them today and they wouldn't have achieved their dreams if they gave up after those two, three, five, ten 10 initial rejections. Get very comfortable with the idea that you need to knock on many doors to open the right opportunities for you. Apply to the top positions that you want. Contact all your ideal clients, aim for the best and get comfortable with hearing no because some of them will be yeses eventually that will change your life and your business. And you wouldn't have gotten those yeses if you were afraid of the no's. Rejection is also sometimes redirection. I find that many times in my life, right after I got rejected from something I thought I really wanted, something better came along soon after if I kept going and I didn't give up. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So keep moving forward and the dots will connect. This is Steve Jobs, not me. The next thing is to stay persistent and take massive action. Success often requires enduring rejection and setbacks. Keep going, keep growing and keep believing in yourself. Don't be entitled and don't expect the world to give you a big opportunity while you're not taking the responsibility to prove that you are worthy and capable of receiving the opportunity. Eventually, your persistence and your hard work will pay off. All these tips come from my own personal experiences. I share them to help you avoid the same pitfalls. Keep aiming high and don't let others define your limits. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it with those who might need this message. Check out more of my videos here and also check the links below the video if you want my help to help you build that personal brand that will stand out in the market and attract all the opportunities that you want to you and transform your life and your business because I have seen this happening both in my life and in so many of my clients' lives when they implemented. So I'm so certain about the results of investing in yourself and investing in your personal brand.